This is pretty cool here. I, I'm amazed at how clean, clear that water is. And I think down there, I think it's a little puffin paddling away. I think it is, I don't know. Really red feet. <laughs> I think it might be. I, I don't even know what a, what they really look like, but I think that's one of them. Absolutely beautiful here. Yeah. But there's tons of puffins over there. They're all standing on the rocks and stuff over there. There's seagulls too, though. There's tons of puffins, but you can't. I doubt you can see them through this. But they're there. There goes one flying. Just really beautiful here. Yeah? John Cabot he got here at 1497 <laughs> you know that's what they say they don't know but they think he got here right here in Bonavista All right, so I'm out here trying to look for puffins. And uh, this young couple here, they pointed out this whale here. That, it's a mink whale, they said. It's just, you know, washed up over here. Anyway, just thought I'd point that out. All right, there's a puffin over there, a couple of them. I'm wondering if the puffins know that they're the cutest bird. Do you think they know? Do you think they run around like they walk around like, oh, here he goes, he's taking off. I don't know if you can see that, but... 
his other buddy still over there. Oh, looks like he's getting ready to take off, too. All right, well, you probably can see him. This is the Puffin Viewing Site in Elliston, uh, Newfoundland. And uh, I know it was difficult to see any puffins here on the film, but they were there. I saw them. And pretty cool. Um, anyway, more to come. the root cellar capital of the world, also the Puffin Viewing Area. road here isn't even the worst I've seen. Alright, I made it to Port Rexton and I'm staying. It's really, really nice here. And I'm staying here at the Fisher Inn, Fisher Loft Inn. And, uh, it's it's really kind of high end for me, but I made a a reservation, and I again had trouble with the reservation. Oh boy! So. Uh, I ended up here. It's kind of. It's actually only like 120 US. So it's not so bad. But. Um, it's really high schwankitude. There's no doubt about it. We'll take a walk inside. So it's really. It's really kind of nice, actually. It's just a little, but they got all the nice stuff cured. They got the coffee maker. They got walking sticks, whatever that is, back scratcher. <laughs> they got some nice artwork. Yeah. Flashlight. <laughs> like, oh boy. They got bathrobes, <laughs> extra blankets, and ironing stuff, and everything. Nice little bathroom here. 
and out the window. I don't know if you can see it out there, but there's like a spring or something or a little waterfall thing in there and all these beautiful gardens. I haven't even walked around outside because I was kind of late, but. It's 7.30 um, in the morning and I gotta go have breakfast up here at 7.45 is my seating for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place is a schwankitude, I'll tell you. But anyways, I mean, it is really nice here. And I, I did mistake it. it. It was more like 189 Canadian, not 150. But, you know, it's really, really nice for that amount of money, Canadian. So I got to go up to that green building up there for uh, breakfast. And it's, this place is, it's just really, I mean, it's the place you would take, a, a, you know, your girlfriend or your wife for a weekend. I mean, or longer. There's a greenhouse up there, you know. All these buildings here are, are all part of it, you know. And um, it's just really nice here, really. And everything is very elegant inside the room and, you know, they got huge bath towels, extra bath towels. I mean, you know, it's just really, in the view, is just breathtaking here. It's, it's just, I mean, it's really nice. I can't <laughs> emphasize it enough. Anyways, off to have some breakfast. Maybe I'll take a little video of that. It's, you, you have to have reservations even if you stay here for breakfast and for dinner. I didn't go for dinner because it was like this fork, you know, <laughs> all these different courses. And it's, you know, you don't order off the menu. It's just whatever they're serving that day, you know, whatever the chef is cooking, you know. And so, I don't know, I'm trying to control what I'm eating and even at breakfast here, the way she was describing breakfast, it's going to be a challenge not to eat everything there, but I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm going to use all my points in one sitting. Oh, all right. You know how it is. More to come. <laughs> Swankitude at the highest level. It's Heart's Content Lighthouse. So I stopped there to look at this because when I was on the road coming in here, it a I actually thought it was like moving, but uh, it's not. It's sitting here run aground. <laughs> Anyways, I don't know the story to it yet, but uh, it's probably over on a plaque over there and I'll read about it. So I'm in Grace Harbor. Newfoundland, and this is a statue of Amelia Earhart Putnam, and uh, of course, I think everyone knows Amelia Earhart, that she was the first woman to fly across the Atlantic Ocean, and I think they got a replica of her plane over here, or it might be the plane, I don't know, but um, she started off from Harbor Grace here. So the story goes. Anyways, I never knew that. I never knew where she started. I, I have a funny feeling that she ended in 
Paris, France, but I'm not positive of that either. Maybe if I read the stuff over there, I'll know. So Amelia flied over to um, Ireland is where it was, but this is a DC-6, I believe it said it was, but I don't know, this is just sort of to commemorate all this uh, Harbor Grace, the airport. I guess it was pivotal in a lot of different ways, but I thought it's pretty cool, cool display, cool history. More to come.